And as the investigation continues into the frightening fall of the Dunkin' Donuts Center, we're learning more about the training acrobats go through for this particular act. It is called the hair hang. It's a very rare act, and we're learning it's actually taught at a Massachusetts facility. Eyewitness News reporter Brian Yacono continues our in-depth coverage now live in our newsroom. Well, good morning. You've seen that video of the women with the circus hanging by their hair before that accident on Sunday, and they're trained to make it at least look effortless. Now we're learning a lot more about the training that goes into those acts. In fact, there is a studio located at less than 50 miles from Providence. It's called Simply Circus. It's in Newton, Massachusetts, and that's where we meet Ginger Howell. She and a friend have studied hair hanging for five years now, and if it looks painful, you're right. They say part of their training is to build up a tolerance to the pain, which comes with time and practice. And even after five years, they're limited to just 10 minutes in the air, whereas some professionals are up there for longer than 20 minutes. So really, what is the attraction to do such a painful stunt? As Howell puts it, hair hanging takes you a little closer to nature. Of all the aerial arts, it's what comes closest to actual flying. Everything else you're hanging on with your hands or your feet or your knees. Now, the founder of the program explains that how the hair is braided can significantly impact the way their weight is balanced. Without the perfect braid, that pain can lead to some serious injuries. Live in the newsroom, Brian Yacono, Eyewitness News. All right, Brian, thank you, and stay with us as we continue to track this circus accident. We'll have live reports from Hartford later today when the circus resumes, beginning on Eyewitness News Live at 5. You can also find extended coverage online at WPRI.com.